Hey guys, what's up? So after living in my country and interacting with the people here for years, I can't help but to notice the annoying habits that people here have, especially when it comes to chit-chatting with others. The particular habit that I'm talking about here is asking useless and impolite questions as a way to break the ice. Of course, it's normal to ask questions in order to avoid the awkward silence, especially when you're meeting new people or old friends. However, I find that the method that these people use is very irritating. They keep asking questions that I personally find impolite and unnecessary to even inquire. So today, I'm going to talk about the top 5 most annoying questions often asked by people in my country. Number 1. Asking about your relationship. Have you got yourself a girlfriend or boyfriend yet? This might be harmless if it stops there. However, the people here are very nosy and they want to know every single thing about your love life and why it is the way it is. Hey Raf, long time no see! How are you? I'm great, how are you? Oh, I'm super. So Raf, have you got yourself a boyfriend yet? No, I haven't. Oh my god. Why the hell not? No reason really. I just haven't got one yet. Oh my god, but why though? Why? I mean, you're so beautiful and smart and talented. I mean like, guys would be stupid to not want to date you. Well, it's not like nobody wants to date me. It's just that- Oh my god, Raf, if I were a guy, I would definitely go for you. I mean like, you're such a lovely girl and yet you don't have a boyfriend. I mean like, wait a minute, are you a lesbian? Sounds stupid, right? I know, but it does happen in real life. Multiple freaking times. It's weird how people immediately assume that no one is remotely interested in you when you tell them that you don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend yet. Has it never crossed their minds that maybe, just maybe, the reason why you're not dating anyone is because you don't want to or because you are the one who is currently not interested in seeing anyone. I honestly wonder what they see and hear when we say that we don't have any girlfriend or boyfriend yet. So Raf, do you have a boyfriend? Oh no I don't. I want to focus on my studies now so I don't want to be in a relationship because I think it will distract me from studying and blah 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 blah. I'm so lonely. Nobody wants to date me. I mean I've tried everything. I've tried Tinder, Omegle, YouTube, but still. Nobody's even interested in me. What's wrong with me? I feel so lonely and worthless. Why doesn't anyone want to spend their life with me? Blah 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 blah. Oh my god, I'm robbing you poor thing. What? What do you mean? I'm totally fine. Okay, wait, listen. I have a friend and he's a great guy and I'm sure he'll be perfect for you. I swear he will. Well, he's not exactly a friend, he's actually my uncle and he's like 40 years old or something but anyway, it's much better than to remain lonely the rest of your life, right? Still related to the first question, if you answer it with yes, I do have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, then the question that will most likely follow is when will you get married? Yep, totally not putting any pressure to the couple at all. And if you are married to your significant other, then the next question they will ask you is when will you have kids? How should I know when I'll have kids? It's like asking me, when will you reproduce? I don't decide on that, nobody decides on that. I mean, how am I supposed to respond to that question? Do they expect me to say, oh, I'm planning to make some babies on January, so if my calculation is right, I'll be giving birth on September. I sure hope it's a baby boy, fingers crossed. Number two, saying that you've gained weight. You've gotten fatter, haven't you? I'm not sure how you guys feel about this statement, but I personally find it very impolite and unnecessary to say to someone who's not even that close to you. I'm fine if my family members or my best friends comment something about my weight because I know they do it because they care about me. But if someone I barely know comments about my weight saying something like, you're getting fat, aren't you? I find it very inappropriate not to mention rude. I mean, why do they even ask that question? For what purpose? Do they think that if they tell us about our weight, then we'll thank them for it? Do they think that we don't know whether we've gained weight or not? Hey girl, long time no see! I know right, it's been months! Hey, you've gotten fatter, haven't you? I mean, the last time I saw you, you weren't this chubby. It's okay though, you're still as fabulous as always. What? The Furbies. Out of all the topics they can talk about, they just have to talk about our weight. What's even more annoying is when your weight hasn't actually changed at all and someone comes to you and says something like, Oh my god, look at you man, you look a lot fatter now. Why? Just why? Statements like that don't break the ice. In fact, they make it even more awkward for the other person. I mean, what are we supposed to say in response? Oh yeah man, you're right. I have gotten fatter. Thanks for letting me know. It's not like I look into the mirror every single day and notice the changes happening to my own body. <laughs> You're so observant, not. Number three, 
asking never-ending questions about your education. Have you graduated from university yet? When will you graduate? What will you do when you graduate? What the hell is this? A job interview? We haven't seen each other in years and instead of asking me how I'm doing, you're asking me What will you do when you graduate? <laughs> How should I know what I'll do once I graduate? I don't even know what I will have for dinner tonight. Okay, okay, maybe they're asking these questions to show that they actually care about me. But honestly, I think that it's better if the question stops at, have you graduated yet? If the person has graduated, then tell them something like, oh, that's great, man, congratulations. And if the person hasn't graduated yet, then just wish them good luck or something and don't pressure them to graduate as soon as possible. We don't know their situation, so we shouldn't judge them merely because they haven't finished their education yet. Number four, asking never-ending questions about your job. Have you got yourself a job yet? What's your job? What company do you work for? How much money do you make? Do you actually earn money from the type of work? Okay, it's totally fine to ask about our jobs and what company we work for, but asking us how much money we earn? And worse, doubting that we even make decent money from what we do? Those are very unnecessary to ask. You don't just go up to a person and ask them how much money they make. It's none of your business. How would you like to be asked how much money you make? And finally, the most annoying and intrusive question of all is, what's your religion? I don't understand why it's such a big deal in my country. At first, I didn't want to include this point in this video because religion is a sensitive topic, but I just have to include it here because of how often I hear this question and how useless and impolite it is to inquire about other people's beliefs. I believe that our faith has nothing to do with who we are as a person. Whether we have a religion or not, it shouldn't be any of other people's concern. We have our rights to believe what we want to believe and vice versa. But since the last 10 years or so, I noticed that this question has become such a big thing in my country. It's as if our answer determines whether people will still want to converse with us or not. I remember riding a taxi home from campus and the driver was a very nice guy. We talked about a lot of things during the ride like cars, motorbikes, politics, etc. It was one of the most fun taxi rides I ever had. Then in the middle of the ride, the taxi driver suddenly asked me, what is your religion miss? And I thought, oh man, not this annoying question again. But I decided not to fret over it because he was a nice and friendly man so I just answered him honestly, oh, it's Furbizen. And guess what happens next? The rest of the ride was quiet. It was like by revealing that I believe in Furbies, it made me a revolting creature that was not even worthy of a conversation. A similar thing happened in one of the classes that I taught in college. So my fellow tutor friend and I were chatting with our students during break time. Then all of a sudden, she asked one of our students about his religion. That student answered with, Oh, I'm an atheist. And you know how my friend reacted? She looked shocked. No, shocked isn't the right word. She looked horrified. She reacted as if that student just walked up to her, showed her the middle finger, and insulted her ancestors in front of the whole class. She then looked at me and her expression read, Can you believe this guy? I then quickly changed the topic before things could get out of hand. My point is, people here confuse me sometimes. If they're not gonna accept what we believe in, and they're gonna judge us based on our faith, then why even ask that sensitive question in the first place? If they can't accept that I believe in Furbies and they get annoyed just by hearing me talk about Furbies, then why bring up that topic in the first place? I just don't get this type of people. Okay, so those were all the top 5 annoying questions that people in my country often ask. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I hope you don't mind how these trends got a lot more serious in the end. I like making funny things and entertaining you guys, but I also think that it's good to have a more serious talk every once in a while to balance things out. After all, this channel is here for us to discuss about things, be them lighthearted or more serious ones. Anyway, enough with the rambling, now I have a question for you guys. What are some of the most annoying and unnecessary things that people often ask in your country? Are they similar to the ones in my country? Leave your answers in the comment box below because I would really love to read them all. Oh yeah, by the way guys, some of you might have asked me some of those previous questions in the comments before, but it's totally fine. I didn't make this video to call any of you guys out. I made this video simply to express my thoughts about how annoying those questions could be, and I had no intention to tell you guys what you should or should not do, so please don't take this the wrong way. I dislike the questions, not the people who ask the questions. If you have asked me those questions before, it's completely okay. It's in the past now, so let's just put it behind us and let's start this new year with a clean slate, okay? Awesome.
so that's all from me today guys thank you very much for watching this video and thank you for those of you who have subscribed to me if you haven't then please be sure to click on the shiny subscribe button below don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends if you enjoyed watching it and i will see you on my next one have a nice day everyone bye bye they want to want to spend their life with me <laughs> Oscar winner!